everybody and welcome back to my channel. It is Jen with Home Unit's Plans and as you can tell by the title, I have a very large fall slash Halloween slash are we even ready for all this <laughs> sticker haul. Um, I've been holding on to this stuff for quite some time. I've actually, uh, I haven't filmed in what feels like forever. I've been really busy doing a lot of things. If you guys have been following me on Instagram, um, I sneaked a little bit of a picture. I've been really, really hardcore working on my makeup series coming up in October. Um, I do a makeup series on my Instagram. Um, I will actually link uh, all of my Instagrams down below. I have obviously my planning Instagram and then I have my makeup Instagram. Um, every year I do a series called 13 Nights of Halloween and that's where I do a different Halloween style makeup look for 13 nights leading up to Halloween. So like starting on October 19th, every single day I post a look. Um, and I've been really prepping for that because this year, this year I want it to be bomb. Um, so that's kind of put my planning stuff on hold. So um, that big influx of plan with me's, which I still have <laughs> coming y'all's way, um, has been put on hold. They're all edited. Um, it, they're all summertime. It's basically all of summer. It, it is all of summer, but I have all this happy mail that has been coming into me and I wanted to film it because I want to put this all away. And yeah, um, anyways, long, longest intro ever. Um, I'm gonna get all of this out of the cellophane. We're gonna talk about all the stickers. I have 10 shops here, 10. So this is probably gonna be like one of my longest hauls ever because there's 10 shops. But yeah, grab a snack, grab a drink, and we're gonna get into this haul. Okay, we're gonna get started with a shop that has quickly become one of my favorites. It is Jameson Reed Designs, and she came out with some new fall um, things and if I haven't talked about if you see little sorry if you see little toe beans it's my kitten she's on my lap so <laughs> if you see her little hands I apologize um, but anyways um, this is Jameson Reed designs and she has very quickly become one of my favorite shops I love the dolls that she has um, these are deco sheets that go along with kits that she has but I just love her deco sheets and I have picked up some new ones that she had um, this is the journaling card that you get very beautiful this actually matches some of the florals that come with one of her deco sheets and I love the little artistic style here um, we're gonna go ahead and get into everything so this is um, Okay, well, first of all, like you can pick up her stuff a la carte, which is what I do. I pick up her deco sheet and then I pick up her quarter boxes. And I usually, I use these in both my functional planner on my dashboard pages and then I use them in my um, memory planner as well because sometimes they just match the spreads that I wanna do. So anyways, this is the, from the kit Color Fall. And I loved this. I loved all the deco here. I love this girl's boots. I love all the fall aesthetic, that jacket, all of it. And it's just, ah, you have like slight foiling on the dolls here and you always get like a strip of washi on the side here. And then you get these quarter boxes which go along with it. And it is everything that you need if you are if you use a small planner like I do. I use a Happy Planner Mini. Um, for my functional planning and honestly for my monthly spreads, this is perfect. This is all I need. These boxes, the, all this deco in here, it's it's just perfect. So had to pick this up because fall is literally right around the corner, says the girl who is still planning <laughs> July in her memory planner. Don't judge me, don't come for me. It's okay, we're fine. <laughs> but anyways, this is the Color Fall Deco from Jameson Reed Designs. Next up, we have this sheet, which I am so excited about. So I have two Halloween kits that I'm gonna use this year because Halloween falls on a Monday and the entertainment company that I work for, we always do events leading up to Halloween and since Halloween is on a Monday, I was like, that's perfect, I can do two Halloween spreads, but I need the perfect doll. So when I saw this deco sheet from Jameson Reed Designs, I was like, oh my gosh, this doll is perfect perfect for both Halloween kits that I want to use. So you have two dolls here. I love this girl here, very Morticia Adams, all of like the spiders and the crows and everything. Like, oh, honestly, this is so beautiful. 
and I was so excited when I saw it because it was like, this is going to match both the kits. And I'll show you the kit that I'm talking about later, and then I'll pull this doll back out so you can see. Um, but anyways, this is the sheet Gothica from Jameson Redesigns, and it's just so beautiful and it's just oh it's perfect perfectly named I love all the florals I love this right here I'm gonna have to figure out how to incorporate like all the branches and everything into my spreads because that's just too perfect um I did not get the quarter boxes with this because I got this for the sole purpose of using it in my memory planner so I was like I knew I wasn't going to use it in my functional planner I have other sheets for that but this I was so excited about to use it for my uh, memory planning spreads for both of my Halloween spreads Okay, and then the last one that I picked up is the Pumpkin Spice set. And this one comes with three different dolls, which I am okay with because if I wanna use a doll in my memory planner, if I wanna use a doll in my functional planner, and then in my monthly section for my memory, for my functional planner, I, I have that option. And I just love her aesthetic here, her boots, her sweater. Like this is totally my vibe when it comes to like fall clothing. Fall wardrobe is my absolute favorite. I live in Texas, which absolutely like, <laughs> we don't get fall weather until like the end of November, beginning of December, but that does not stop me from pulling out my boots, my cardigans, my scarves, all of it. I love this so much. I love these florals. I love that quote. And then of course I picked up the matching quarter boxes and it's like a mixed media, um, vibe here because you have like all the clip art, but then like the washi and then these boxes, that's like actual photography, which I'm, or it's actually photos. So I'm really excited about that. And that is everything that I picked up from Jameson Reed Designs. I'm so excited about this. I can't wait to show y'all the kit that I'm talking about. I'll actually have to pull out my other Halloween kit, but uh, I'm so excited. Next up, we have an order in from the Pretty Pink Co. And it is a very small order. I always love to show you guys the packaging because it's just it's so pretty. It's so simple, but so dainty. And then, of course, they, you have your name on the back. I just picked up a quick $2 Tuesday. Oh, I ripped it. Dang it. It's okay. Like I said, I just picked up um, a, just a simple $2 Tuesday. This was her Halloween release. Um, this is so so, so beautiful. Um, I only picked it up in one color because both of my Halloween spreads are both silver. So I only picked everything up in silver. This is the Thank You Freebie, which is absolutely stunning. Look at all of this. That is, I love these. Oh my gosh, these dividers right here are flourishes. I love those. If those are in her shop, I'm gonna have to go and pick those up because oh my gosh. Anyway, so that is the Thank You Freebie. And then this is all just the Halloween stuff that I picked up. I had to pick up the Halloween clusters because of the pumpkins and the bats. I kind of went ham sandwich on all the Halloween and fall deco this year. Like I still have so much left over from last year and I went even harder this year too. I have so much fall deco. Planning for fall is probably one of my favorites. Like seriously, I love fall spreads. But anyways, these are the Halloween clusters 1.0 in silver. Everything's on transparent matte, not gonna sound redundant. We have the bat strings. I figured since I had two Halloween spreads, it would be okay if I went super hardcore <laughs> for all the deco. So we have the bat strings with the pumpkin faces and the bats, the bat deco. Okay, I loved the little ghosts. Look at that, so cute. I love how it's just outlines. You have the cauldrons, the pumpkins, the ghosts, the bats, so cute. Then we have the Halloween garlands. I love that they go in two separate directions. Okay, this one I was so excited about. This is the Bat Mini Deco. I love the bats and the spiders and all of that. Like I love all the mini deco for that. It's just so cute. So I love how some of it is filled in and then you have outlines, just so cute. Then we have the Halloween Garlands 2.0 and as always, I love that they go in different directions. You have the bats and the pumpkins. Then we have Halloween Clusters 2.0, which you can see is a little bit different than the 1.0. Okay, I was so excited about this. I love the squiggles that Pretty Pink Co. has, and so I love that she does like seasonal stuff. So you have the bats and the pumpkins, and it's just oh, so cute. 
Okay, and then we have the Halloween Strings 2.0, which I love the little like layered garlands there with all the different deco pieces on it. Oh, seasonal deco is just some of my favorites. Oh my gosh, look at the spider webs. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my gosh. Y'all, my Halloween spreads, they're gonna be so decked out. Like, oh my gosh. If I ever get to Halloween, my gosh, I may be planning Halloween on New Year's, but you know. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. I have all of summer pretty much planned. I just have to upload them. <laughs> oh, okay. Ooh, ooh, Halloween Deco 1.0. Again, look at the ghosts. <gasps> This is all the filled in stuff. So we have the cauldrons, pumpkins, the ghosts. These are the filled in pieces of deco, which is just, oh my gosh, so cute. I loved these. I thought they were so like elegant. It's like spider webs, but make it pretty. Like, oh, so cute. And then of course, like spider web everything, y'all. I love these corner spider webs. And then we are back to the beginning with our Halloween clusters. So uh, that is everything that I picked up from the Halloween $2 Tuesday from the Pretty Pink Co. I knew that my Halloween spreads were both silver, so I only got them in silver. I, I generally don't do that because, you know, I never know what my holiday spreads are going to be. But I kind of had a general idea of what my Halloween spread was going to be. And then I picked up another Halloween kit that was also in silver. So that kind of helped make my mind up for me. But anyways, that is everything that I picked up from the Pretty Pink Co. Okay, so next up I have two separate orders, and this is from a shop that I had never ordered from before, but I saw Shanice from Planners and Tacos use this collection, and I was like, okay, I'm obsessed. And then I, shortly thereafter, I saw that she released this collection, and I was like, well, need that too. So um, I was really excited about it. So this is Sterling Inc., and she's on Etsy, and she does beautiful journaling collections. And I've been eyeballing her shop for quite some time, I just never picked anything up and then I finally bit the bullet and I was like okay well I need to go and pick up some of her stuff so I picked up her August and September collection so we'll start with August I know it's already September please don't judge me guys like I said I'm very behind <laughs> um, but her September her August collection is just stunning so this is I believe the freebie that goes with the kit you just have like all the lemons and it, it's like Obviously it's a lemon theme and everything and I was just so obsessed. So you have the little bicycle deco, the lemons, this little statue head with the beautiful headpiece, this key, so gorgeous. So you can pick up like a la carte or you can bundle all the collection. I pretty much just picked up the entire collection. Um, so I got the month, you get two. So if you wanna do like a monthly or like a journaling spread, perfect. And then I picked up the deco pieces, the days of the week, some clip art. Oh, I love these corner pieces here. And the paper type, I don't even, I can't even describe. It's like a vinyl almost. Like I can't, you have like two separate options and you have transparent matte and then you have this. And I, I think it's a vinyl, but it's like, oh, I love the texture of it. So these are the corner pieces and then the deco leaves. And then you have the larger deco pieces or floral deco. You have two sets of days of the week. And then you have some more clip art with the window, the Vespa, the statue head. Then you have the large deco pieces. So beautiful. I love that little bicycle, like, oh my gosh. And then you have the larger sheet of the floral deco. And then you have the washi trims. So you get a lot when you get the entire bundle. I think this is the entire bundle. Don't quote me. I think I picked and chose pick and chose the pieces that I want. But I knew I wanted a lot because I love the lemons. Like <laughs> lemons have been like a thing for me this summer. This past summer. But yeah, that is the August collection, and I'm so excited to actually like be hauling it finally so I can lay it down. Um, I have plans to put it in both my journal and also my highlights journal, so I'm glad I have two sets of the August and everything, so really excited about that. And then this is the September collection, which is like very introduction to fall you have this beautiful typewriter this is the of course the little freebie that comes with it oh so pretty i love that so much again it's on that like vinyl type paper 
you have the months, you have the deco pieces. I think, okay, so these are the larger deco pieces. I can't remember what all it is. I kind of just went in there and clicked haphazardly. Don't be like me, go in there and make smart decisions. <laughs> but I love that scene right there that's so cozy, that little park bench, all these vine pieces, corner pieces. I love these florals. And then you have the mini florals, the days of the week, and then the larger sheet of florals. So that is everything that I picked up for the September collection. Again, I can't remember if I just went in and bundled everything or if I pick and chose, but yeah, with that, that is everything that I picked up from Sterling Inc. I'm so excited to actually play around with this shop. I know I'm gonna have to pick up her October collection because it's gonna come out soon. So, oh, so excited about that. Okay, next up I have two orders from Miss and Meow. This was her fall release. Um, I believe her shop is closed right now. I think she said she's gonna open up in the new year. She's on vacation. Um, so I had to pick up this fall release stuff that she came out with because, oh my gosh, it was also beautiful. Um, I have to show you, did I take? Okay, so <laughs> this is the packaging. I can't show you the back because it does have my invoice in it, but I always love to show Miss and Meow's packaging. So give me just a second. Okay, so I have three kids here. One was a separate order and these two came together. Um, I'm so excited about all of these. So we have, let's start, well, first of all, I have two kits that are in silver and you guys have heard me say this if you've watched my channel, you know that I love to stagger my foils. So I like to use gold, silver and rose gold in every season. And fall is the hardest season to use silver because fall kits are generally gold or rose gold. So finding silver fall kits has been such a struggle, but then missing me out to the rescue, she came out with two silver fall kits and I picked them both up, which I'm so excited about. So let's go ahead and get started with this one since it's just one order. Okay, starting off with this freebie. I love her freebies, they're so functional. You have all of um, her icons up here. It's in like such a neutral colorway, so you can pull them into a lot of spreads. You have these paint swatches. This is in rose gold, so obviously for fall, it'll come in handy. I love these circles, so beautiful. Love that freebie. Okay, so this is the kit Storm. And I was so happy when she released this because it's a silver kit and it screams fall because you have like these leaves and this raincoat here. Generally silver kits, you know, are very primarily used in winter time. It's really hard to find fall silver kits. So I was so glad that Regina released this. Look at these full boxes. Look at how beautiful they are. Oh my gosh. Her kits are just artwork. It's just amazing. This quote box says no storm lasts forever. So beautiful. So here are the nine full boxes. And then you have your word headers down here. This sheet where you have all of the icons that match the kit. And I believe she actually shrunk down her date header, her date cover, so you could do more date cover deco since date cover deco is like all the thing right now. And then you, she added these little mini paint swatches, which is adorable. I am so excited to play with those. Oh my gosh. You have two half boxes here, all of your headers. You have some more work headers down here. Then you have this sheet where you have all of your boxes that match the kit, your midi boxes, square boxes, swatch boxes, your scallop circles, third boxes, quarter boxes, these little lace pieces. I think she doesn't have the lace boxes anymore. This maybe she does. I can't remember. This is this is one of her newer formats though. Don't don't listen to me. Just <laughs> I love this page. You have all the boxes you could ever need. And then oh my Gosh, look at how beautiful this bottom washi is. The beautiful large florals with the simple foiled strip above. You have your sidebar goodies, some more layering pieces. And then back at the beginning. And I have been getting in the habit of, oh, okay. I picked up three, <laughs> three sheets of floral. Now, generally, if you're not going ham sandwich like me on the florals, you could get, honestly get away with just two floral deco sheets, but because I decorate up my sidebar along with my date covers, I use one sheet for that, and then I have two to last me throughout the rest of the spread, and honestly, I'll probably have a ton of leftovers, but I, I'd rather be safe than sorry when it comes to my florals, and these florals are just stunning. I love these rain boots, all the little clip art that she adds to it so beautiful so that is storm and it is in silver foil which like i said i mean it's so hard 
to find a silver foil kit for fall, but Regina came to the rescue. Like, look at that, so beautiful. Okay, so next order, we have another one of these freebies, which is so great. Again, it's a very neutral colorway. Love that. Okay, so Regina has been coming out with these like recipe style kits. She had like the strawberry one for summer. She came out with a peach one for summer. And then she came out with several for like different seasons. So this is her apple orchard one, which she has a um, recipe on here for apple pie. And I was so obsessed with this. There's just something about like apple picking that is a good transition from summer to fall. Like I am totally, totally planning on using this as my transition kit. Like, oh my gosh, look at this, so beautiful. Like it's end of summer, there's an apple pie. Oh, gorgeous. So it is in light gold foiling and I just love this gingham pattern. Like gingham, there's something about gingham that says, that says fall. <laughs> but here are your nine full boxes, same format. So you have your nine full boxes, your word headers, your matching coordinating icons, your headers, your date covers, paint swatches, your box page, which oh, this is just so beautiful. I love this so much. And then look at this bottom washi. It's just so cute. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. Back to the beginning. And then of course I picked up three uh, floral deco sheets and I love the apple clip clip art like oh my gosh Regina just knows how to pack florals onto a sheet so stunning I cannot wait to use this kit oh it's beautiful so that is apple orchard and then the last kit that I picked up is crisp fall and this is another silver kit which I was so happy about like look at these light airy colors folly Fall breeze, crunchy leaves, pumpkins, please. Like, I love this so much. It's like colors that you, are they're not traditionally fall. Um, I forget who it was. I think it was Lauren from Play Emotion Plan. She put up like some something on her Instagram story. She was like, what would you like to see um, shops come out with for like, you know, kits? And I was like non-traditional fall kits, like stuff with lighter colors and silver foil. And Regina just checked every box for, it's like she saw my comment and she was like I got you boo and she came out with this kit and I'm just so excited about it it's just stunning I love the different colored pumpkins the light colors just everything about it so here are your nine full boxes headers this sheet where you have your matching icons your date covers paint swatches headers your boxes, again, same format. I just wanna go through it real quick. And oh, look at this beaut, oh, it's just stunning. And silver foil just complements it so well. I, oh, I'm so excited. So that is the um, main kit and then three floral decos. And I look at these, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm so inspired to decorate like my sidebar, my date covers with all the pumpkins, the little Ugg boots, like, oh my gosh, I'm just, I can't wait. I'm so freaking excited to use this kit. And with that, that is everything that I picked up from Miss and Meow. Like I said, her shop is on vacation right now because she, I think she's taking a trip with her new husband. So yeah, that is everything that I picked up from Miss and Meow. Okay. This next shop is a new to me shop and it is a journaling shop that I discovered scrolling through Instagram. It is called Wise Minerva Studio. And I look for different style stickers to use in my functional planner because my functional planner is a happy planner mini dashboard. So you don't have like standard sticker kits for that um, particular layout. And so it really gives you a chance to freeform your spreads. And I've been incorporating a lot of different like journaling style kits in that planner and so I found this shop and I was so so excited so let's get started with this one okay so this oh gosh that is beautiful I love how opaque this is it's just a little like decorative thing it's beautiful um, okay so I think these are just a bunch of freebies here let me okay starting off with all the freebies so oh 
So this is the little card. She gave me a thank you note. She wrote my name. And then this is her business card. And then a whole bunch of freebies. So we have a little die cut sticker window right there. I think that's a sticker. No, that's just a die cut. No, it's not, wait. It's a sticker. Okay, cool. So I can put that in my journal along with this, which matches. I love that. Oh my gosh, there's so many freebies here. Okay, so then we have this freebie right here, which is like a fall freebie. Love that. Witchy vibes only. Being normal is overrated. We have another journaling card right here. Love that. Then we have this thank you freebie, which is very fall themed. My gosh, there's so much. Then we have this right here, which is another fall freebie. Okay, and then these are the July freebies, which, oh my gosh, there's so much. Obviously, I ordered this back in July. This is from a kit, actually, that I ordered. So cute. I love this. This is like, this will go perfect in my functional planner. I love this so much. So those are all the July freebies. So that's all the freebies that I got. Like, that's, we're not even into the actual orders yet. Like, these are just the freebies, which, wow, I'm so excited about. Okay. So I actually placed two orders. This is my first one and we'll go into these mini sheets here and then then we'll go into the bigger sheets. So we have these mini sheets which I forget the names of all of them. I just I went ham. So I love this like camping aesthetic with all like the birds and the trees. This girl right here such a vibe. Okay then we have, so this, this is deco sheet number 84. Then we have deco sheet number 19, which is like more outdoorsy kind of vibes. I love this so much. Okay, so then we have a bunch of fall stuff that we have, like that we get into here. So this one, I figured I could use for like Thanksgiving because you have like the pumpkin pie. It says eat, drink, and be thankful. So very thankful. I got these with my functional planner in mind because that's, it's like I use deco in that, but not very much. It's small, so I don't use too, too much deco. Oh, I loved this one. It just was so beautiful. This is deco sheet number 27. Okay, so then <laughs> we get into, I know it's it's September, but I, I just, I love this icy vibe here with all the little snowflakes walk on untouched snow, like these beautiful blue florals. Gorgeous. So that's deco sheet number 35. Come on. Okay, so obviously very Halloween themed. I love this little witchy girl right here with all the pumpkins, that black cat, so cute. This is deco sheet number 30. Then we have deco sheet number 94, which I love these little outlined pumpkins, so cute. Then we have deco sheet number 25, which I love the like mushrooms and all the fall stuff. Okay, this one is what inspired me to find this shop anyways. I saw a picture on, in, on Instagram from someone who had used this deco sheet and these ghosts, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. I thought it was just so stinking cute. I love the little ghosts and the pink pumpkins. So that's deco sheet number 43. And then we get back to the beginning. And then I got deco sheet number 23 in the large size because I wanted to see the size variation of the large sheet and the mini sheets. So this I could probably like spread out over several spreads. I do love this girl right here though. I love the palm leaves and like just the really peaceful vibes. So pretty. So that's deco sheet number 23. Okay, and then we get into the kits. All right, so. 
Let's go into this one first. I loved this deco sheet so much that I wanted the kit to go along with it because I was like, yes, that's absolutely going to be my Halloween kit in my functional planner. I love these ghosts. I love all the pumpkins, the bats, just all of the decorative vibes. So this is um, the kit number 43. And it's a journaling kit, but it can totally work in my functional planner. I got enough for several spreads, honestly. Honest, honest, honestly. <laughs> so we have the deco right here. We have um, more deco on this sheet. We have date, date covers and date dots, paint swatches. I have so much deco. Like I could honestly spread this out over so many different planners if I wanted. So we have that one. And then we have this sheet, which has several different date covers. If you um, don't want to use these, then you have like the abbreviated ones, like just so perfect. So honestly, I could use this in my functional planner and then my highlights planner as well. So cute. And then of course, all of the torn paper. I am so excited about this. I loved it so much. I was so obsessed with it. Obviously, like I saw this deco sheet and I was like, I, I need this in my life. So this is going to be my um, kit for my functional planner and also my highlights planner just because uh, I love it. It's just so cute. And then, okay, so obviously I picked this up back in July <laughs> because this is a very summertime. Um, this is kit number 78 and it's very like, mer obviously it's mermaid-esque. So stinking cute. Obviously I'm going to have to hold on to this until next year because this is a summertime spread with the mermaid and the jellyfish and everything, but I loved it so stinking much. Um, I got this under the guise of using it in my functional planner along with my highlights journal and everything. I love the deco, I love the mermaids, the boxes. You have this page. It's the same format, but I was so obsessed with it. I love this mermaid, this girl's so pretty. Oh, I just love it so much. Swim to me, that's so cute. And then you have the torn paper, which I was just obsessed with. I love that it looked like mermaid scales. So I fell in love with this kit as well. And as you can see, you can like spread this out over like several, depending on your planning style. Like obviously I got this like thinking about my functional planner and my highlights journal and you know, my um, actual journal journal as well. So I was very excited about that. So that's kit number 78. And we get into the second order that I placed. She had this release and I was just like, I've fallen in love with her shop. It's just so cute. Getting into the freebies first of all. Wow, so you have another one of these freebies, very fall. You have die cuts. These are all stickers, so you can put them on your spread as well. These match the kit that I have here. And a couple more thank you cards. More die cuts. Another journaling card. I love this, so cute. It's a little cauldron. It's so cute with like stickers on it. Okay, and then this is the August. This is her August collection. Um, she came out with this and I just, oh, so pretty. So this is the August freebie that matches the kit, the little lighthouse and the seagull, so cute. So this is the deco sheet that goes with it. This is deco sheet number 105. And this is, um, her kit was called, the, the collection was called Tranquility and I was just so obsessed with it. There's another one of the journaling cards right there. So there's a deco sheet. Here is the main deco for the kit. I love the blue tones and this is very set up very differently. So you have like your date covers, your abbreviated date covers, date dots, very lots of different styles. I love these big deco pieces down here. You have more date dots. So you could like spread this out over several different journals, planners, whatever you'd like. More deco. All the torn washi. Beautiful. So that is Tranquility. And then I picked up this deco sheet right here, which is the larger deco sheet number 104. And I just, I thought it was so beautiful. So that is everything that I picked up from Wise Minerva Studio. I'm so excited. I've been 
really wanting to expand the stickers that I pull in to my highlights journal and also my regular journal. And I saw this shop and I just thought her designs were really, really cute. And I was really excited to give it a try in my functional planner and everything. So that is Wise Minerva Studio and I'm so excited. Okay, next up we have three different orders from Red Lyrics. Yes, three. She just, I cannot be stopped. I love her dolls so much. I blame Tay of Shantae Plans. My collection is absolutely insane. I don't know if I'll ever be able to use all the dolls that I have, but you know what? It is what it is. And at this point, it's just a collection that it keeps growing. So I have three different orders. I'm going to take it all out of the cellophane and put it into one so we can just go through them real, real quick. Okay, so we obviously have two orders that I placed in August. So we have two of the mini August calendars and then one um, that I placed at the end of August, which she gave me the September stuff. And then all three of these cards, which have the matching florals that have my name on it. So beautiful. I wish I had like, see, it's whenever I get stuff like this where I wish I had like a setup that I could actually use these on, but they're just, oh, they're so pretty. Okay, so <laughs> she's since had like a you know, she's redone her branding in her shop. So like some of these um, sheets are going to look a little bit different. Like that is the new style that she has here. So these first ones are like the last few that she had in, in that style. So starting off, we have fashion girls number 51. I love like all the coats. Like this girl is such a baddie right here. I love Red Lyrics fashion dolls because I just, their styles are so cute. Sometimes I'm like, ooh, I could like base some of my outfits on my Red Lyrics dolls. <laughs> that seems a little silly, but whatever. So we have Fashion Girls number 51. I love the red tones here. This girl in her puffy jacket and her straight pony. So cute. Then we have Girls in Coats number six. I love this. Obviously, I got a lot of these in mind, like with fall coming up. I like to have dolls that match the season and everything. We have mini girls in sweater. I love it. I love oversized sweaters in the fall and mini booties. So cute. We have mini fall fashion number two. I love this girl's vibe right here. I love it. Just ugh, such like a casual yet cute vibe. That That's me. All day, every day. Love it. Okay, so then I like to get the bigger dolls because they go in, I like to use them in my functional planner. So I got the girls in coats in just the, you know, regular size. Okay, so this is her new style. So this is casual sweater number two. I love them so much. This, this girl right here with her hoops and her pony and her leather pants, so cute. I love this casual streetwear. This is so cute. Like they're just oh, so cute. Okay, so then we have casual streetwear in the larger size. Such baddies. Then we have casual sweater number two. I love it so much. Okay, so then we have mini fall fashion number four with their sweater dresses and their over the knee boots. Then we have girls in coats number five. So this is just the larger size. And this is the mini girls in coats. Then we have girls in sweaters, which like I said, I like using this size in my um, functional planner. And then the fall fashion number four. Her sweater dress is such a vibe. Okay, these are so cute. These are girls with umbrellas and I just, I just thought they were so cute. Her dress is so cute. I'm sorry, don't take a shot every time I say so cute because you'll get absolutely hammered, but <laughs> I love it. Oh, I just love Red Lyrics dolls. Okay, so this is like the last little bit of summer. Just this, this vibe right here. I have a couple more summer spreads that I have to finish up and these, these dolls will go perfect. Obviously we have the big girls with umbrellas and then these lovely ladies right here. Okay, girls in lemon prints. I love them. They're so stinking cute. So summery. We have black and white number seven. Her skirt right here is so cute. Just all of it. We have the big girls in lemon prints. The black and white girls. 
Okay, so we have casual streetwear. So the other one that we had was casual streetwear number two. This is casual streetwear. Love that. Then we have fashionistas, fashionistas number 17. Oh, I love these dresses so much. Yellow is such a happy color. Fashionistas number 14, and then last but not least, we have Fashionistas number 17, which this is just such a party girl vibe. So cute. So that is everything that I picked up from Red Lyrics. Kind of a hefty little stack. My obsession is never gonna be stopped. It just is what it is at this point, and I'm not mad at it. So that is everything from Red Lyrics. Okay, so next up we have a new to me shop and this is Pink Kimono Papers and I found this shop because I buy so much stuff off of Red Lyrics that I have stuff that's recommended for you on Etsy and they recommended this shop here which has more dolls <laughs> and of course I went ham sandwich. So um, they have options for a la carte. You, you can totally just choose to pick up the deco sheets which has the dolls on them, which is what I did. Um, I picked up this tiny kit, which um, it, it's called a tiny kit, but that's the only option they have. And they have these two dolls on here. I loved this doll's silhouette right here. I'm not sure how I feel about this girl who has the new face. Um, we'll see. Um, this is called Simply, and you have these two dolls, some pe some deco pieces, some little headers here, some boxes, and a full box. So I could potentially use that in my highlights journal or my functional planner. This deco sheet is called Gardening is My Jam, and I just loved it. It looked very springtime to me. I'm always stocking up for future seasons. I just, I loved her vibe right here. She was so cute. This is called My Favorite Things, and oh, I love this girl. She's so pretty. I love the hair, her outfit, all of the deco pieces right here. This quote, these are a few of my favorite things. Love that. This is called My Best Beach Life, and I loved this girl just sitting in her bikini with all the palm leaves and the summertime things. Definitely thought of next year in mind, for sure. This is called Sultry Summer, and there were two doll sheet options, so I got both because I'm indecisive. <laughs> I, I loved all of the hair options, so I just went with all of them. And you can pick with skin tone, hair color, hair texture, all of it. It's, it's really cool. So I got these two sheets because I loved the different doll options. Same thing here, we got Sizzling Summer, and you have the two girls and the different outfits on each sheet with the accessories and the journaling pieces and the different hairstyles. So cute. This one is called See You at the Beach, and I just, her outfit was different on each sheet, and I just, I loved the vibe on each side. So cute. Next up we have Bali Babe, and I got the girl with blonde hair and also the girl with brunette hair. So cute, I love her bikini. This one is called Leaves and Love, and it has the two different hairstyles on one with all of the different fall aesthetics. So pretty. This one gave me very New Year's vibes with the sass and a little bit of you know what? <laughs> I just loved her. I thought she was so cute. And this right here, this very Breakfast at Tiffany's-esque doll. Next, I picked up Down the Aisle, and I got the two different sheets. I love the different hairstyles. I just thought they were so cute. Since I have two planners and I use dolls in all of them, I figured that would be real nice. Next up we have Glamming Up, and I love this girl's outfit right here. This girl's obviously getting ready, and it's just like, ah, so cute. Love it so much. Obviously I got this one with 4th of July in mind. I already have my 4th of July spread done for this year, and I used a doll already, but obviously 4th of July comes around every year, so <laughs> I just love this girl's hair and her hoops and all the, the decorative pieces. So pretty. 
This one is called Sugar and Pumpkin Spice. Obviously, this girl's drinking her pumpkin spice latte. We got this girl with her coat and her cute heels and the star of the show, The Bicycle. I love bicycle deco pieces. Then we have Autumn Aesthetics. I wish I could do something that fancy with my hair. I just, I'm so impatient when it comes to my hair. Okay, so then we have Happy Hello Queen, and I just thought she was so fabulous. Obviously, I have like Halloween planned out and everything, but I've, I loved the cats here, and just this is so cute. Oh, okay, this is Tropical Treat, and this girl's vibe. I actually have a skirt like that, so had to pick that up because her vibe is just everything. This is another tiny kit. This is uh, Aloha. And again, I just, I loved her like very tropical get up. This is sweater weather. And that, that's my vibe. In case you guys are wondering, hey Jen, <laughs> what's your style in the fall? I'd love to say that I dress super like put together every day in fall. I don't, it's, it's this, it's this. Oh, this is Coffee House Cute, and I got all the girls. I love her glasses and her beanies and her coffee cup and just uh, the journal right there. So cute. I love this so much. And then, thinking really ahead, we have Queen of Wrap, the two different sheets, which I just thought was so stinking cute. And then, baby, it's cold outside. Now these girls are a little bit larger, so I was definitely thinking of like my journal for these ones, but I just couldn't pass them up. So that is everything that I picked up from Pink Kimono Papers, and I'm so happy with this. My doll collection, it, it's a big, it's, it's a big one. It's a big one, <laughs> but I was really happy with this. And yeah, this is Pink Kimono Papers. You can find them on Etsy. Okay, next up we have Paper Muse Crafts, and I had to show you the adorable packaging. She came out with floral collections, specifically for like journaling, or I'm just destroying this, y'all. Oh no, oh no, okay. I wanted that to be more graceful, but it totally wasn't. Anyways, um, Paper Muse Crafts came out with um, this like, journaling style um, and like I said, I've been looking for different things to like decorate my highlight journal or my functional planner with. So I saw this, I was like, absolutely yes. Um, so I picked up the entire collection and I'm really hoping she comes out with another one soon. This is the die cut, which is just so, oh my gosh, hold on, is this a sticker too? It is absolutely a sticker y'all, oh my gosh. I love that, so that is a sticker which I love, I think it matches this kit perfectly. We have the days of the week right here, which is just so tiny, and then you have a couple, you have like something that says important right there. Oh my gosh, I love that. So this is the entire collection that I picked up, which I'm so excited about. So you have like different corner pieces, big pieces of floral, floral bouquets, tiny pieces of floral. You have a functional sheet right here, which look at these teeny tiny icons. Oh my gosh, that is gonna be so perfect for my functional planner. This, oh my gosh, I am so excited. You have like these archways, circles. This is so cute, oh my gosh. Then you have more corner pieces, torn washi, big florals, and then, oh, Oh, this is amazing. So all of this is on transparent matte, and I'm normally not one who goes for transparent matte, but I decided to be bold and be brave and give it a shot because why not? So this is floral collection number one um, by Paper Muse, Paper Muse Crafts, and it kind of goes like right along with the vibe of the Sterling Inked collection that I showed you guys earlier, but I'm so stinking excited about this. I cannot wait to play around with this in my planners. So that is Floral Collection 1, so fall, and I'm probably gonna use this for November. So cute. Okay, next up we have a chunky order from Paper Trail Plans. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie you guys, I've already dug into this one because I needed some stuff for one of my spreads and you'll you'll see what I'm talking about. So let me go ahead and just pull everything out. This is new, I love the new packaging. It's just, it's, it's artwork and I love saving it. So it's the packaging, so adorable. Okay, 
Again, a telltale sign of when I ordered this. This is the summer 2022 shop freebie. It's in silver. Ooh, I can totally use that for a spread that I still have to do. This is so cute. It just has a bunch of like deco stickers on here, a couple of um, scripts and everything. That one, this is Hello Summer. So cute. Love that so, so much. Okay, so I mentioned this in one of my plan with me is that I was running out of um, hello month scripts and holiday scripts and everything. So I pick, I made an order on Paper Trail Plans and decided to pick up the holiday scripts and month scripts and also days of the week scripts because I've been wanting to play around. I've been doing a little bit more playing around with like um, DIY date covers and everything. So starting off, I just have the Hello Month scripts and I love, I love the fonts that they use. I love that you have like just a regular um, print and then you have like this beautiful calligraphy right there. Um, I have all three of the foil colors on transparent matte as always. Beautiful. And then I picked up days of the week and I picked up two of each. Um, as you can see, there's only one of the gold because I already, already used, um, I, I dug in and, and I used um, some of the gold days of the week. So I got two of each. So I got two rose gold, two silver and two gold, but I've already dug into the other gold one because I did a spread that I needed, I needed the days for. But um, I've been playing around with the idea of doing way more um, DIY date covers, um, especially for kits that I have had where I wasn't like the biggest fan of the date covers. Like sometimes kits will come out and the date covers will be um, too busy and I like to decorate my date covers. So I got these for times like that when I wanna do DIY date covers. So got those. And then I got month scripts because I was running severely low. I'm running severely low on my Mini Riot Co. ones. Um, I came out with a collab with Mini Riot Co. who is unfortunately no longer open. Um, she and I did a collaboration on month scripts and I've been using those in my planner and I'm running low and I'm kind of wanting to hold on to them because they're very special to me. It's my one and only collaboration that I've ever done and I want to hold on to them. So I picked up some month scripts, um, gold, silver, and rose gold, just the basic um, foil colors. And then I picked up just some functional stuff. So I wanted to pick up the mini box sampler because as you guys know, I got this trick from Lauren of Plan Mush Plan where if you have a box that's a little too busy but you still wanna use it, you can take a box like this and um, white out the middle but still have the foil element to it. So I just got the mini box sampler so that way I can do that. And I love that you have three different sizes on here. So cute. And then I picked up the holidays. Okay, so um, like I said in a plan with me, I was running out of holidays. I just, I just didn't have them. So I had to pick them up and I got gold, silver, and rose gold that just has everything. I love how inclusive Paper Trail Plans is for all of their holidays on here. It's just, it's so good. So I had to pick, pick up just, just the three foil colors with all the holidays, you know, very standard. And then last but not least, I picked up this Summer's End Floral Collection. I have been loving, um, as I've said many, many times, if you've been here on my channel, you guys know that I've been utilizing my kit collection and just trying to actually use what I have. Um, if you'll notice, I don't have very, I don't have many sticker kits in here. I obviously, um, I picked some up from Miss and Meow to kind of fill out my, kit binder for the end of the year uh, for fall, but I've been really utilizing my collection and sometimes my collection doesn't have florals that match and so it benefits me whenever I have a large floral collection. And I saw this um, and I don't even know if they still have it. Like I said, I ordered this back in like July, so. <laughs> um, but I got the Summer's End Floral um, collection here. So we have the floral trims, which these florals are just gorgeous. I love the watercolor swatches, 
the washi trims. You have just the two basic washi trims and then the contour cut floral washi and then the Summer's End bouquets. So that is the Summer's End floral collection. And with that, that is everything that I picked up from Paper Trail Plans. Just a bunch of like n essential stuff that I really needed in my collection. I needed to restock on some stuff. So that is everything from Paper Trail Plans. Okay, this is the last shop. As always, it would not be a haul if I didn't have some form of Sadie Stickers in here. Sadie Stickers is one of my absolute favorite shops to get pretty much anything from, from boxes to kits to floral to everything. Everything that you could ever need is at Sadie Stickers. And I'm not mad about it. Um, so I have five different orders here from Sadie Stickers and yeah, we're gonna get like right on into it. We're gonna go ahead and start. Um, okay, starting off with some $2 Tuesday stuff. Um, I'm just gonna show you guys. I put in Lauren's name twice and got her freebie and then I got Rachel's freebie. Um, I've said this before, but I kind of go in like, I go through phases where I put in different planner girls names, like all of my faves. I have a huge collection of Rachel's freebie. I have a huge collection of Lauren's freebie, a big collection of Tara's and I'm working on Tay's freebie right now. Um, so yeah, these are their freebies. I believe they're about to switch them up for fall. Don't quote me, but yeah, my faves. Like I said, I have multiple orders here. So that's where that is from. Um, so this is all going to be like Halloween and fall stuff. So we have the spider cluster deco. Okay. Like I said, I have two Halloween kits. Um, they're all in silver. So here we have the spider cluster. So all of the $2 Tuesdays here are in silver. So we have the spider cluster deco, which, oh my gosh, look at how teeny tiny and just, oh, I love the clusters from Sadie stickers. We have the spider mini deco, the spider web mini deco. Oh my gosh, obviously this was a spider release. <laughs> we have the spider web abstract corners that goes right along with my pretty pink co ones. The hanging spiders, y'all, my spreads are gonna be just covered in spiders, but look how cute. We have the spider web deco. And then these spiderweb mini halves. Lots of spiderwebs. Okay, and this actually, funny story. So I said that all of my stuff was in um, silver, but these ghosts were so stinking cute, I could not pass them up. Like, I don't even know when I'm gonna use them, but I just, I couldn't say no. Look at how adorable these guys are. Like, oh my gosh. I love them, I love them with all my heart. So I had to pick them up on, in all three foils because they were just too cute to pass up. And then we got the graveyard gate. That's only in silver. Gorgeous. We have the bat mini dangle deco. The bat cluster deco. This is again all in silver. The mini bat deco. Look at how cute. Oh, this is my favorite garland that Alicia has ever designed. And the fact that she has it with bats on it, I just, I can't even. We have the bat combo garland, the bat cluster divider, and then the flock of bats. I just, I'm, I'm so freaking obsessed with all of my Halloween deco. I know I won't go through it all. I know I'll have it for like next year and years to come. Oh, it's just so cute. I love it so much. So that is all the $2 Tuesday that I got. And then, okay, let me show you. So this is the other one of my Halloween kits that I have here. And this is from Mini Riot Co. As I've stated before, her shop is closed, but I had this kit ever since last year and I, I love it so much. And it came and she, I got it with um, these deco sheets right here. And because I'm obsessed with florals, I needed more. So I found this deco on Sadie Stickers, which is the exact same clip art and floral deco. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's perfect. So that is one of my Halloween kits. And this is the deco that I got to supplement. So that way I have more than enough. So that is floral deco number 14. And I picked up four sheets of it just because I'm excessive and I love florals. So that is that. 
I am so stinking excited about this. This is my other Halloween kit. It's called Haunting and I am so obsessed with it. Look at how gorgeous. Actually, now that we're here, let me show y'all. Okay, so these are my two Halloween kits. And do you remember at the beginning when I said this doll would match both of them? Like, I just cannot. I can't. Look at how perfectly she goes with both of these kits. I'm so excited. Okay, there's that. Okay, so now going into this kit. This kit is called Haunting, and it is just, just a stunner. I love the colors. It's so dark and so misty, and it just screams Halloween. So this is the kit that I'm going to use the week um, leading up to Halloween, and then I'm going to use my mini Riot Co. kit the week of Halloween. So these are the nine full boxes, and as you can see, it's very, it's got all of the elements, so you have like the spider webs, the bats, you have pumpkins, you have everything. So all of the deco that I have will go perfectly. So here are the nine full boxes. Oh my gosh, look at these. I love the coloring. I just, it's so, it's like such, ugh, I don't even know. It's just gorgeous. I love it so much. You have all more layering goodies, sidebar stuff extra bot in your sidebar trackers and then oh my gosh look at how beautiful that bottom washi is oh my gosh it's so pretty I love it so much and then I picked up oh gosh how many did I pick up what did I do okay yeah I picked up four sheets of this floral because I was a little unsure of it I don't have any other floral that can supplement um, so I had to pick up enough to go throughout all of my um, spread. So cute. And then I picked up two sheets of the functional boxes. I wanted enough to play around with with this kit because I just, I'm obsessed with it. I love it so much and I cannot wait to put it down in my planner. So cute. So that is the kit haunting. Okay, this is another separate order. I picked up another one of Lauren's freebies. This is another silver fall kit, guys. Look at how beautiful. It's called Forest, and I look at that. Look at the mushrooms, the little tent out there. Oh, it's so beautiful. I love it so much. It does now. It's it's like totally not your traditional um, fall kit because of the colors, but I'm definitely going to use it for fall because it's silver and gorgeous and amazing. So here are your nine full boxes your boxes page. I love the greens and the blues and the lavender. It's like a periwinkle and I love it. You have more layering pieces. You have your headers, sidebar goodies. And then, oh, wow. Oh my gosh. I love the design on this top strip of washi. Oh, it's so cute. I love it so much. Back to the beginning. And then I picked up I think the same. Let me see here. Yeah. Okay. So I picked up three sheets of floral and then one box add on. So that is the kit forest and it's so pretty. Okay. So next up, I picked up the September 2022 monthly kit. Um, I decorate my monthlies off camera but I love having all of my kits be from the same shop. So this is the September one and it is in gold foil. I think it's her champagne gold, which is so gorgeous. So here are the headers and you have all of your boxes. I love the floral she used. It's like very traditionally like fall. You have your numbers here, washi strips, layering pieces, all that good stuff. And then it comes with your days of the week holidays, all that stuff. And then I picked up a bunch of add-ons. So I have the um, large floral deco pieces, and then I picked up two of the smaller deco pieces. Look at those little acorns. Look at how cute. I love it so much. So that is the September kit. I know I went through that really, really fast, but I mean, like I said, I decorate my monthlies off camera and I always show off her monthly kits because that's the only monthlies that I use in my planner. Um, her format is just very easy for me to play around with. I have found a style that I enjoy. Um, if you guys want to see my monthly 
plan with these, uh, I guess leave it in the comments below. I just, I found that those don't get as much engagement as some other stuff that I post. So yeah, leave it in the comments below. But that is the September monthly kit. And then last but not least, okay, so I picked up, she did a reformat of one of the kits that she released yeah, uh, last year. Um, it is her kit Autumn. And she, uh, last year when she released it, the format was way different and I didn't have enough florals for it. So this year I picked up the journaling add-on because I love playing around with the journaling add-on. And then I picked up two boxes add-ons and then two extra florals because I have the kit and I have a couple other um, floral add-ons from last year, but I wanted to get these just so I could have enough to supplement and everything. So had to pick these up because uh, this is actually going to be um, I believe it's the kit that I'm going to use for Thanksgiving. I'll have to look in my lineup, but I had to get all of the stuff to supplement and everything. Um, but yeah, that is everything that I picked up from Sadie Stickers. And God, I just love Alicia's shop so much. It just brings me so much joy. Her design aesthetic is gorgeous and it just makes me really, really happy. Okay, everybody, if you made it to the end of this video, thank you guys so, so much. Y'all are like the real OGs. <laughs> that is everything for this haul. I hope you enjoyed. There is a lot of fall stuff, a lot of like journaling things, a lot of new to me stuff. And I feel like I fumbled through 99% of it and I appreciate you guys sticking with me. But um, yeah, if you're new here, hi, I'm Jen. I do planner things. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope everybody is staying safe, staying well, and hopefully I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.